On this slide, we have some visual representations of the sort of thing that I just wrote before. We have hmm, hydrogen, H2, and it's producing protons. Each of those is an H with a positive sign. Over here, I have oxygen, diatomic oxygen, the way we normally encounter it. And then four of these protons show up, enabling this to come apart and form water. But what you can see from this is that we don't have these balanced in terms of charge. Okay, so we have to think about that. But where would I, you know, I don't have a little, you know, electron is so small, I don't bother to come up with a little symbol for it. So, all right. What we're saying is that each of these is considered a half reaction, and we're supposed to try to come up with uh, which one is an oxidation and which is a reduction, and write an overall equation for that is over. Oh, so I'm going to have to combine these somehow. Oh, okay. And that's going to balance it in both mass and charge. Okay. All right. We can do that. I mean, even though this doesn't have charges written, we'll just we'll figure it out. Let's look at that first one. The first one, they have hydrogen, diatomic hydrogen, and then they have it becoming two protons. That's what I see in the picture, but I can't leave it like this. Yes, it's balanced in terms of the hydrogens, but it's not balanced in terms of the charge. There's no charge over here, and I have two positives over here. Okay, well, I need two negatives. The only way I can get two negatives is to throw two electrons in here. Okay, that looks like a perfectly good thing. Now, if I think about the oxidation states, well, this is an element, so automatically I say that it's an oxidation state of zero. It went from zero, it went up. It went from zero to a positive number, so that's not being reduced. That must be the oxidation half state. What about the other one? The other one has oxygen being approached by four protons, and that ends up creating two water molecules. I can see that I have two oxygens on both sides. I have four hydrogens on both sides, but I have that same problem with the mismatch in the charges. Over here, I have no charge. Here, I have four positives. Okay, then I will put four electrons in here to balance that out. Now I can look at this and I can say, oh, the oxygen was a zero because it was in its elemental state. Here, the oxygen would be considered to be a minus two, just the oxygen, not the whole thing, right? So it went from a zero to a negative number. Well, that's definitely reduction. So I have identified which one was the oxidation half reaction and which was the reduction half reaction. So they now want an overall equation. Oh, so I should add these together. But if I just add them together the way they are, things aren't going to cancel out right. So what I'm going to want to do is take this whole thing and multiply it by 2. That would be 2H2 two and 4 protons and four electrons. When I do that and I add them together, then I see that on the left and the right, I can cancel out the electrons. And on the left and the right, I can cancel out the protons. And I end up with something I already knew. <laughs> How to make water. Okay, seems a little odd that I went all the way around the you know, Robin Hood's barn to do it, but okay, this I recognize. You know, we were talking about mechanisms before, and so maybe this has something to do with the mechanism of how all of this works. Anyway, the next question up here is, how do chemists manipulate the electron transfer in a reaction like this to generate electricity? Well, what is electricity? What's you know, if you're talking to an electrical engineer, they will always say that it's the motion of electrons, the movement of electrons. Well, we did have a movement of electrons when we think about it because we had a reaction 
that gave up electrons and a reaction that picked them up. So there was definitely a situation where at some point these were free and they were moving. So if we can just force these electrons to run through a circuit before they can complete their task, then we can say that we have uh, managed to generate electricity. So they have to run through a circuit in order to the complete the reaction.